played you. What are your thoughts on your opponent tomorrow night? Um, Tokodomi is a good, experienced opponent, you know, former king of Pancrase, and he's fought in the UFC. And But it's good, you know, I've fought everybody, and um, I, I've fought all the best, so I'm just happy. He looks tall, oh, he is tall, um, and he'll come forward, and they all come forward, and so I start punching you. So, man, I don't know, I'm excited. He, he's a great fighter, so I'm really happy. I was really happy with the matchup. Most of his wins have come via KO or TKO. Most of his losses have come via KO and TKO. Is this the perfect opponent for you? Yeah, it's a perfect opponent on paper. Um, I, I don't know if he's spoken much smack about me, but a lot of people say they're going to knock me out because no one's done it yet. Uh, he definitely will not be the first. Yeah. He's lost his last three. In some way, does that make him more dangerous? Yeah, you know, people are always hungry when they lose. Um, I know what it's like. Uh, I had four losses in a row. Um, two of them in particular were really one-sided. Like, I don't know how I lost that, but um, so it really hurts, you know. But I, I came back and I trained harder for each one and it still didn't go my way. So I know he'll be hungry, but um, you don't get any hungrier than when you're 41, mate. Did you watch his fights against Christian Lee and Jadamba? And if so, what did you think of them? Yeah, I did watch the Christian Lee fight. He fought on the same card I did. Um, Christian Lee just overwhelmed him with his youth and just relentlessness, you know, so that's hard to gauge that. I don't judge on that. And I have fought Jadamba when he was at his best too, so it was a good chance to watch him. But, um, you know, every fight's different. This is MMA. The beauty of MMA is it's so different. It has every martial art involved in it, not just one. So it's the beauty of our sport. That's why we love it. How much do you study your opponents before you take them on? Um, I don't study too much, you know, I always say that, I always focus on myself. I do like to watch what they do to get a fair idea, but like, you know, I, I run a big, Australia's largest MMA gym, and um, even when I'm studying my students' opponents, I don't need to watch too much tape either to, to have an idea of what they're going to do. As you said, you're one of the elder statesmen on the roster. Do you look hungrier than ever? Yeah, you know. Um, you know, one offered me another contract. It just goes to show my value. Um, I do put on exciting fights. I, I do follow their rules, which is you want to win by damage and trying to finish your fight. You're not allowed to run around and outscore each other. That's not that's not the game. We've got to take each other out. And you know, I still love it. I still wake up every day. I love my job. I'm excited to compete. Um, I've been hounding them all year for this fight. So as soon as they gave it to me, it took me. As long as it took me to finger type that email, it, it was my response, yeah. Is it a case as well as showing the youngsters how it's done? Man, I have done it before, but you know, it, it's, it's the fight game, you know. Sometimes we teach each other a lesson, but uh, you know, mate, you can't beat these fists. This is your second fight in just over a year. I get a feeling you'd like to fight more often. Uh, Recovery is hard. I just always ask for enough notice to prepare for fights. When I was young, I could fight all the time. You could even be unprepared and compete, but I am older now and uh, each loss can hurt, so I do need notice to compete. Um, so, yeah, every six months it was the agreement, so I'm happy with that. What are your thoughts been on the lightweight Grand Prix? Yeah, it's a great Grand Prix. You know, they've got some good competitors in there. Um, you can see by the upsets, you know, a good friend of mine, Ev Ting, uh, I thought he'd make it right through as well. Um, you know, the big hot shot that they signed, he got split. Um, you know, everyone is tough in our division and and to stay at the top is hard, you know. I've, I've been at the top before and I know how hard it is to be there and to uh, maintain that position. They say it really is a tough division. Lastly, do you have a prediction for your fight tomorrow night? Uh, I never make predictions. Um, I just say, you know, stand and pang but they won't they won't do it but um i'm gonna look to stop my opponent I, I i like to stop people and you've seen all my wins in 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 the one circle have been stoppages yeah nobody stops me brilliant looking forward to it thank you very much cheers thanks a lot. Thanks thank for your you time, man.